Hello and welcome back. Today's session is a continuation from the last couple of sessions. We are going to stream the DynamoDB data to the open search domain. Before continuing with this, please watch the last two videos uh, where we create the DynamoDB table and the domain. Uh, that will give you the context. I'll leave the links of it in the description below. So this is what we are going to build today. Enable the DynamoDB stream and attach a Lambda trigger to it. Uh, which then writes the data to the open search domain. Let's get started. Okay, so we are in the open search dashboard. I'm going to start from where we left off in the previous session, where we had the default index available within our open search domain. I'm going to create a new index. For that, I'll recommend using the open search documentation, which has pretty good examples. So I'm going to copy one such example for creating the index itself, which is a put command along with some attribute values. So let's paste it here. And within this, I'm going to change the index uh, name as books. Uh, that is what we named our DynamoDB table as, so just to keep it consistent. And then within settings, uh, you can specify the number of shards in the replicas. You can increase it based on your requirement and also the mappings. So these are the DynamoDB attributes. Uh, in our case, it was book title and author. If you want, you can add additional attributes as well. But however, even if you don't specify them here, uh, uh, Open Search will automatically create the mappings based on your first record. And then you can give your index an alias name. Once you're happy with all the settings, just run the command and that will create you the create your first index. So since this is the first index being created, it will take up a couple of minutes, but eventually you will get an acknowledge message uh, saying that your index has been created. There we go. And once we have our index created, you can use the get command to get the index back. And similarly, you, you also have a delete command to delete your index, or you can rerun the put command to change the mappings of the index as well. All right, since we have our index created, let's run a basic search against the uh, index. And this should return empty result as of now because we don't have any records within our index. So as you can see, the hits are zero. So I'm back in AWS console. Uh, we are going to provision the Lambda and attach it to the DynamoDB table. So first things, we are going to create a Lambda role and for that, I'm creating a new policy and the policy JSON is available in the Git repository. I'll leave the link of that in the description below. So this policy is just going to support uh, creating log groups and provisioning the Lambda within a VPC as well as uh, pushing the data to open search domain. So all these are just basic permissions and replace the account ID with the actual account ID of your AWS account and create the policy. You will need to specify the policy name. It's always a best practice to have the permissions assigned to your role very limited. And once your policy is created, go back to the role and attach the policy that you just created. and give it a role name as well. And now let's move into the Lambda console and start creating the Lambda itself. So create the function and give the Lambda a name. You can choose any name. I'm going to just call this as stream Lambda. And I'm going to choose the runtime as Python 3.8. You can choose a different version or choose a different uh, language. It depends on your requirement. And in the Git, in the Git repository, I have given the code for uh, Python 3.8. And the main thing is uh, we have to put this Lambda within the same VPC as the domain. I've also selected the role, by the way. And, uh, and also choose the security group. This was the security group that we created in the last session, which allows outbound 443. 
okay so our lambda function is being created in the meantime let's go ahead and update the environment variables we have to add four environment variables here so it's going to store the open search uh, host as well as the open search index then the dynamodb hash and sort keys so first let's go ahead and grab our uh, open search host name so this was created in our previous sessions so i'm going to copy this and paste it back here as well as i've added the uh, open search index name that we just created the dynamodb hash and sort keys i'm storing them as environment variables because these values would differ based on your project and it's best to have them defined in the environment variables so that you can you need not change the code every time let's save this and finally let's upload the uh, code so this zip file is available in the repository you can just upload that here so uh, once this is uploaded uh, we have our lambda function ready to be used so let's go back to dynamodb table section and attach this to the triggers and choose the dynamodb table that we created um, in the last session and create a trigger choose the lambda function All right, so we have everything set. The only thing remaining is for us to test this. So let's get into the table and create few entries. So I'm going to create a couple of uh, sample entries. And once we create these entries, if you go back to the open search uh, dashboard, you should be able to run the search command and it should return you the data that you just created. So uh, let's create one more entry as well. And not just creation, even if you edit or delete an entry, that will also get reflected in your open search domain index. So the lambda, lambda handles it for you because the DynamoDB stream will trigger your Lambda every time there is a change uh, in your uh, item. So I've created two items now. So let's go back to uh, the domain and run it. As you can see, there are two entries now. And let's also test the edit and delete cases. So I'm going to edit one of the entries here and add one attribute to that. So this time, uh, let's just try adding a number and see how the mapping changes. Uh, the previous two ones were strings. Uh, so in open search, those were called as uh, text. And in this case, I'm adding a number. And let's try deleting the other entry. And let's go back to the uh, dashboard and run the search again. So this time, as you can see, one of the entries is gone and the other one has the updated value, the new attribute. And if you run the uh, get command for the index, this time you should be seeing the additional mapping attribute as well. So as you can see, there is a new attribute called series with type as long because we created as number. So it's that simple. Uh, once you have the open search domain stood up, you can use that to uh, query items and get back the data. You can do complex aggregations and use DynamoDB just for write operations. So if you have any questions in this session, please leave them in the comments below. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.